survivor I'm a survivor, survivor Who will be the ultimate survivor? Let's find out when you spend the day in our shoes All you creators, our sanctuary is waiting Who will win the title? Well, it could be survivor, survivor I'm a survivor so we just left the other property, and when we left there, the uh, the goats <laughs> were all over the place. I couldn't even find them. We had a walk down to the river this morning where they were playing and climbing hills and doing all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, when we left, they were in the woods on their own doing what goats do. Yet we get over here, and our goats just lay around. They lay around. This is like the Lazy M Ranch or something. Like. Lazy M. But what I will say is this is not really a goat's life. And I don't think that I'm a survivor offers them the same active, the same enrichment that Longhorn Lester's did. So I have an idea. For team three, how would you feel about we have someone come out and build us a goat playground? That sounds fun. A place where our goats could get out to every day and some, you know, exercise and just live some adventure. Have some fun, climb, jump, play. You mean so they can stop using the side by side whenever you take them out? <laughs> and that way they'll stop jumping on my side by side whenever I get them out. Yes. You okay with that? I think it'll be good. Well, I've gotten a submission. A guy named Sean. He runs a place called Zion Creek Farms. <laughs> There's a goat in need. You know who to call. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad 1980s television right there, guys. Keep it real. I did throw some food down here to get the little chunky girls over here. Seriously, guys, you put out the challenge. I'm here to answer the challenge. You could pick me just because I'm a cool dude. You could pick me because I'm a cool goat dude. I even have the shirt, the goat father. But on a more serious note, your passion, your love for your animals, what you do with them, and why you do it is just unmatched and unbelievable. I'm not gonna cry, Lester. A couple of your videos get me all teary-eyed, brother. I told you I'm not gonna cry. We share that same passion. While we're not a rescue, we do a level of care for our goats that I think is top notch. We're not a farm that dismisses animals because they're sick or they're lame. You can go back through my content. You can see several of my videos where we've had issues with goats. We lose money, but we foot the bill, we get them fixed. And then if necessary, we find them a good quality home and a good place to go. Am I up for the challenge to do whatever you guys need done? Absolutely 100%. I will survive because I'm a survivor. He's a goat guy. He's a goat man. And uh, I'm going to give him a call. Sounds good. Video on? Mm-hmm. Sean Atchison, Zion Creek Farm. You know who I am? Yo, <laughs> why are you calling? Dude, am I being punked? Why are you calling? No, no. Listen, we got your... Yes, Lester and Jamie here. Jamie's here videoing you. Hello. And uh, listen, Hi. we got your submission, and uh, we have a project that we'd like to offer you, a challenge, if you will. And I will say that uh, we've watched your videos. We know you're a goat guy. And I'm going yeah. to say we have a group of goats. Oh, oh, my gosh. And there's all the goats. Look. And there's all the goats. Aww. Hey, we have a challenge for you if you'd be interested. I will call and give you all the details a little bit later, but uh, we would love to have you come down, spend a couple of days with us, and compete in a uh, surviving I'm a Survivor challenge if you'd be interested. I am 100% up for the challenge. Man. That's awesome. Perfect. Well, listen, yeah. I will give you a call, a regular phone call later, and I'm excited to talk to you, and we can't wait to meet you. Okay, okay. okay. All right, Sean. Okay. <laughs> Good. That's hey, I like that reaction. All right, take take care, brother. Thanks, Talk to you Sean. soon. Bye, Sean. Right, we'll see you. Bye. Okay. That's awesome. So we have this area in our front pond pasture where the pigs, the goats, the alpaca, they all enjoy hanging out. It offers lots of shade. And the only problem is we can't get grass to grow because of all the um, pine straw here on the ground. It makes the soil very, you know, uh, has a high acidity level. Bottom line is we'd like to do something with this area and we were imagining a goat playground. A goat playground. We're getting the supplies for the third team 
and uh, this is going to be for the goat playground. And I was telling the guy that I'm just so sorry, and I feel such worthless that I can't help. And he says, he said that his boss doesn't like for people to get out of their trucks anyway. But I tell you what, I've been coming to McCoy's for years, and I've always gotten out and loaded my own materials, even though it's neat to have them load them for you. But I did leave the guy a nice tip, and he's a very, he, he's a good guy, man. He's just such a hard worker, and I'm blessed because it's, it's very demasculating to be sitting here, a man, sitting in a truck with your bum arm, you can't hardly move your shoulder, and you're having to have someone else sit there and load all of your materials for you. But uh, I, I know that Jamie's right. I have overdone it a few too many times. And I, and I, I, I fear what y'all keep saying, that the more I do, the longer it's going to take to heal. Because I feel like it's just, as soon as I give it a couple of days rest, it starts feeling pretty good. And then all of a sudden, I do something and mess it all up again. Okay, where are we at, buddy? Dear Lord, we, we want to thank you for uh, allowing us to cross paths with Sean. Please keep him safe in his travels and keep his animals well while he's here doing this project. We want to thank you for the uh, skills that Sean brings with him in helping create our goats a playground, uh, which will help give them their best life here at I'm a Survivor. Please keep him safe in all of his endeavors of this project. Uh, in addition to his travels back home. All right. In uh, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, airport traffic. Don't you just love it? So I did tell Sean that I'm not going to park. He only has carry-on luggage, so I'm going to just swing by and pick him up at his gate. But, uh... I told him what I'm driving, and let's hope he can walk right out, jump in before the security blows their whistle at me. That's our guy right there. That's our man. That's our man. I have been whistled at and whistled at. That guy has whistled me on. I was going so slow. So Sean needs nuts and bolts. He has an entire list of things. Wow. I'll tell you what I'm going to do while I'm here. I need to get a couple of things as well. No, I don't really know what size. Look at all these. It's an entire aisle of nuts and bolts, Sean. If you can't find what you need here. I know. I'm under pressure. You under pressure? I'm feeling the pressure. So I'm curious. What is the pressure? Did I scare you by saying the other two teams didn't finish in time? No. <laughs> the pressure is doing a good job doing it right and, and allowing look he sketched everything out giving that's the awesome the right amount of love so that they get they get what they need they get uh -huh. okay little fun times well it's a good pressure then it's a good pressure yes pressure can some people can thrive under pressure and others fall apart who are you i'm a thriver you're gonna thrive under oh, pressure yeah. So you're going to survive. I'm a survivor. Those are big words. Those are big words. Those are really big words for the guy who just got off the airport. No. And couldn't. That's the guy who could not find his way out of the airport. He got off the plane fine, but he could not find his way out of the Texas airport. Listen, th this is true. I'm not making this up. I said, find the exit sign. Just there, there has to be an exit you sign. You're at the sign. airport. Follow the crowd. They're all leaving. They all went the wrong way. I'm not going to say his text says I'm lost. That's all it said. I'm lost. I'm like, okay, this, this bad. is going to be fun. <laughs> Sean has never had Whataburger. He's never had a Whataburger. Not one time. I cannot believe you've never had a Whataburger. Are you going to take me to Whataburger? I'm taking him to Whataburger. To Whataburger. <laughs> Your life is about to change. Is it that like right change? there is Whataburger. Survivor. I'm a survivor, survivor Who will be the ultimate survivor? Let's find out when you spend the day in our shoes All you creators, our sanctuary is ready Who will win the title? Well, it could be Survivor, survivor I'm a survivor